Coming into meditation and stillness, either in an upright sitting posture or any posture that is conducive to the balance of calm and alertness. It allows the heart to respond to our moment-to-moment -moment aliveness, the body to relax, the mind to settle from the swirls of anxiety and planning and doing. And do a short introduction into the space of meditation touching each of the six senses and then drawing attention inward exploring the intention of in and down as a somatic instruction in practice And begin with the sense of sight. You might let the eyes open. Neither seeing uh, directly in front of you or letting the eyes rest softly down. Or letting the gaze move around the space you're in. Seeing whatever they rest on, noticing objects and light and color. And this is the seeing, the sense of seeing coming through the eye. And the practice here isn't to get involved with anything we see or to try to do anything with seeing, other than to recognize that seeing is a turning of the attention outward. And then you can choose when you're ready, if you choose, to let the eyes close to notice that turning inward where the inner vision or the inner sight can be revealed. Images become how the sense of seeing shows itself. Or there's a kind of enfoldment into the, the inner dark space behind the eyes, that kind of luminous, spacious darkness. Any time in meditation that you want to re-ground in an oriented way to the here and now, you can always open the eyes. And allow the sense of sight to bring the mind back from wherever it's wandered to or gotten lost. And just return to the direct reality of being where we are. We'll turn to the sense of hearing. Tune into hearing and just noticing sounds near and far, front and back, all around. Sound in some ways can feel less external than seeing because we can do it with our eyes closed, but it reaches further in many cases. You can hear past the walls of your space out into the world, sometimes very far away. Hearing then also gives us a sense of the here and now, space we're in, what's happening around.
And again, you can turn from the external hearing inward. And when we think in words or music, sound of different kinds, there's a kind of inner hearing. When the mind gets quiet and the space around us is quiet, we can often hear a little hum or ringing or singing the inner sound, the sounds of the breath, the sounds of the in inner body. Just notice attention turning inward in the realm of sound. We can include smell and taste in the sequence of the senses, of course. If there's any smells present, noticing with smell, the turning inward can really just be not giving smell, external smell, that much attention. Likewise, tastes, just letting them be. So that the turning inward of attention is also just a setting down of engagement with sensory phenomena, sights, sounds, smells, tastes. And then physical sensations, contacts with the air, with clothing, with the ground, with furniture. The sense of the body contacting things through the organ of the skin is what we can call external attention. This can be really helpful if we've been lost in thought a lot just come back to the skin, to the boundary of the skin. If we've been feeling diffuse or freezy or overwhelmed or beset by the world in some way, we can restore a felt sense of some boundary by feeling the skin, the edge of the body. And just come into the sensations that are there, temperature, vibration, pressure. And then also from that external attention to sensation, you can turn inward. One of the first more internal senses can be the sense of proprioception, which is how we sense the positioning of the body, even if we can't see it. So with the eyes closed, if they are closed, feel the posture that you're in, whatever it is. And connect with the knowing, the inner sense of the posture. Further in, there's the sense called neuroception, which is the sense of the interior of the body. You might feel this most fully in the belly, in the chest, through the torso. Feeling the inside of the body. Density, vibration, sense of movement. Openness.
the final of the six senses is the cognitive, emotional. This sense processes information from the other senses and also from the stores of memory and narrative, culture, history. and displays that process in the form of emotions and thoughts. And so external in this sense is the content itself. So if I'm remembering something, I'm thinking about something that happened, that's really the external. My attention is turning away from the here and now or away from this moment. If I'm remembering a place that I know, my attention is turning away from this place. We can think of this as external. So notice what it's like to think. If there's not much thought happening, make a thought happen on purpose, just to notice what it's like. This is what thinking is, feels like, does. And then let it stop. And bring attention more fully into the dark stillness. It fills the space where thought is silent. We usually need an anchor for the attention to be able to stay here. So you could connect with just the, the knowing when the breath is coming in and going out. Not so much about the sensations of breath, which would again be more external, but just the knowing, breathing in, breathing out. What is inward in the cognitive, emotional? If we are setting down fixation on the content, the story, the images, there can be the sense of resting into a deeper stillness, a deeper silence. a kind of knowing that doesn't fluctuate as much, that doesn't move with all the vibrations of the sensory world. And the anchor of the breath can be as strong as you need it to be, you are very gentle. Oh, however the breath is moving, there can be just the knowing. This is the in-breath. This is the out-breath. So letting the material of all the other senses be in the background. So an encouragement to practice in this way for the rest of our time in silence. When the mind wanders, 
rather than thinking of it as a problem or a hindrance. Just notice that when the mind wanders, it wanders to something more external. There's a movement away from the internal or away from stillness. And so coming back to center is about once again setting down that which is external to our center, that which is further away, that which is looking away from ourself or outward. And come back to the resting just here. held by the luminous stillness. It's always here.
Mm-hmm. Returning to the puja to finish our sitting practice with the closing homage, giving homage to the triple gem of Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. Arahang Sangha Sampurdo Bhagavan, the Lord, the perfectly enlightened and blessed one. Undang Bhagavan Tam Bhagivadami. I render homage to the Buddha, the Blessed One. Smakato Bhagavata Dhamma. The teaching so completely explained by him. Dhamma Namasami. I bow to the Dhamma. Subhati Vanno Bhagavadu Salvaka Sanno. The Blessed One's disciples who have practiced well. Sangham Namami. I bow to the Sangham. 